Hey guys, Magic Man Crypto here. I appreciate um, all of what's going on. You guys helped me get past 200 uh, subscribers. I know you guys don't see that, um, but it's uh, I've been doing pretty good because of you guys. Uh, my Discord channel is doing really good. Uh, our Discord chat. I appreciate all who are uh, supporting me in that uh, endeavor. I'm going to get right into it because this one might be a little short video today as I'm probably sure everyone's profit trailers looking like this uh, so it's a slow day I've been thinking about how uh, I ended up with these bags and I think I may have a possible um, let's say maybe a workaround so basically when the bot was buying these right so now we have to think about how the bot operates or how we have configured the bot to operate right so we've configured the bot to operate on right the five minute candles right so indicators i obviously change this but this was at 300 so we're having the bot operate on the 300 uh second period right which is a five minute candle i believe I'll look that up right now but anyways I'm gonna tell you what my thought process is so if it's operating on finance if it's operating on the five minute can period right so it's operating on the five minute candles right it goes back is this and this goes back to whatever so I'm guessing this is gonna go back 40 candles um, Indicators. This is going to go back, I think, 40 candles. Right? So, as in, in this, so BB SMA negative 20 is the length. I think it's the length of candles. If it's in the description, it did say that. But I think this, this pertains to the, the BB. Uh, uh, if you're using any type of BB for um, buy and sell, I think that's what it pertains to, right? So we're looking at EMA. If we're going to use EMA spread, EMA cross, anything EMA related, it's going to go here and use it, right? So if we're using the five minute candles, it's only going to look at short term stuff, right? So if it's going to look at short term, this and I'm using this as an example, it's going to look at short term stuff. So let's say five minute candles. Look at the short term stuff. So it's probably looking at this. It doesn't know what happened yesterday. It most likely doesn't know what happened the day before, right? So when it's going to buy something, it's going to buy it based off of this, what it sees. But it probably bought, let's say it bought here. Now we're stuck with those bags. Oh, no, I'm sorry. If, even if it bought here, it would have been great. So let's say it bought somewhere even lower, like uh, this might be a bad example. But let's say it bought lower um, when the market dipped. You know, it doesn't know past a certain time frame. I hope this is uh, making some sense. So what I'm contemplating or thinking about doing is changing this to a four hour um, candle so that it has a longer like range to go back to when it's making a buy and sell. So actually, let me give you a better example because I think that was a poor one. So let's say Let's actually do one that it bought yesterday, OST, that I was not happy with because OST was actually in green and going uh, up. But of course, that's how I have my settings, right? So let's see at what rate did it buy it at. OST. Oh, this is my average now. So average price is 61773. 61773 so 61 oh, is this the right one yeah 61 oh so yeah so I bought up here if I bought up here oh my goodness so see it bought on a five minute candle all the way up here right probably over here Probably right here, right? So let's say <laughs> that's not a, that's not a smart buy, you know. Um, so 
I'm trying to figure out how I can make this bot smarter. And I'm thinking that if it can look back at a four hour candle, it can, um, it can see better buy opportunities. And I'm also going to change my buy strategy because EMA cross is uh, not, it wasn't a bad strategy when the market was straight even, straight flat. It did really well that one day I was telling you guys about that I was excited about. But this market is just fluctuating so much that I think I might have to change the strategy to something different. Um, and as you can see, when, when I first started the stream, I was looking at, at the buy strategies because it's just not working out um, with that. So we'll see. Uh, EMA gain might still come back into play um, just because I might change the values of the EMA lines. So I might change the value. So as you can see, I changed the value. It was three last time. So I'm ch I changed it to 12, so it's a little slower. So if we change it to 12, you'll see the difference. If I change this to 12, you'll see that it's not gonna follow it as fast. So this is the blue line that's going to take effect too. So as you can see what it does to the blue line. So, um, yeah, and I might change the slow one to even bigger just because the market has just been really um, inconsistent at the moment. So I might even, I might switch it up to low BB. And I could, I could uh, show you guys what that means later on after I test it, learn more about it. I'm thinking about low BB or possibly even going back to EMA gain. Um, but as of right now, as you can see, you guys probably have the same issue. We can't test it. Um, or I can't test it right now because I am still holding 11 bags. So hopefully it's good profits. <laughs> That's the only way we can look at it. Um, there's different uh, buy strategies in here that I'm also going to go over to see. Let's see is the 24 hour change expected to specify by your exchange? So there's some in here. I, 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 I'm not sure if this is new or not. I'm not sure if I heard of loss. I, did, I don't remember seeing it in here the last time I was in here. So that might have been something new. Um, so I'm definitely going to go through this and see um, what could personally help in these times of distress because it's not easy taking these hits um, daily. It's definitely messing with profits, you know what I mean? So this is definitely going down, um, which is not a bad thing. Uh, sorry, it is a bad thing, but it's not a bad, uh, d the current percentage rate is not bad um, on all my sales, but I mean, come on, uh, seven bucks, all right, that's about 1% of my total um, right here, so to be honest, that's not, that, I mean, that's that's what my average is, I'm trying to get my average at, uh, but with this, this uh, trending market, it is not looking too good. Hopefully, um, I get a couple sales today so I can get my <laughs> balance back up. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Oh, I wanted to talk about um, Robin Hood, guys. So, Robin Hood, and I'm pretty sure you probably already heard about it. Um, Crypto Crow, Crypto No mentioned it. And I kind of jumped on the bandwagon because I like the idea. Um, and it's not available for me yet. So anyways, I'm going to leave a link. It works on, It works good on the app. I'm not sure if they have a, um, a web thing yet. It looks like it's not working right now or it's not working for me yet. Um, but I have put in... Um, 
the link to it. It's apparently a zero fee uh, exchange. So you can basically, it's basically supposed to compete with Coinbase and you can um, use that instead of Coinbase, which you know how Coinbase's taxes and fees are. Well, I call them taxes, but they're basically fees. Uh, they're ridiculous. By the time you put in a hundred bucks, you come out with like 85. Um, by the time it hits the exchange that you want to go to, or even 80. Um, so it might really be uh, pretty good. And also when you do, when you do join it, um, I did put it in my, in my discord here. When you do join it, um, it looks like we get a piece of a, like a token or something. Um, so that I'll probably get a screenshot of you got for you guys later. Um, but yeah, so it looks like you, you guys, if you guys sign up, we both get, um, like a, a, a share in Robin hood. Um, so that will be cool. Uh, also, they do ask for social security. Um, there, it looks like their sign up process is really strict. Um, so, and you also have to get approved and all this stuff. So. Uh, be aware of that. Um, like I said, guys, I'm going to sit here and try and go over this stuff. I'm going to try and get it going. Um, is there anything else that I need to cover? If you guys have any questions, um, you guys have seen that I'm, I'm semi-active in the, in the Discord chat. Um, I am leaving the settings that I had a couple days ago because that's what last worked for me. Um, if there's anything that I would change is in the indicators file uh, for you guys. I would definitely have a look at the indicators file and come here to the exchange and go to Binance and change it from the five minute one. I, if that's the only change that, that that's probably the only change I would do if you guys are not stuck with all these bags. Um, I also have a Binance um, uh, account. That's the, that's the exchange I'm trading on. If you guys have not signed up for Binance, it's really good. I have the link in the description as well. Um, you guys should definitely check that out. Is there anything else? Um, I think that is it, guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you guys have any concerns, um, I'll do my best to help you out. If anything, come to the disc, uh, Discord chat and help other people out. Uh, I appreciate the support, guys. Uh, over 200 subscribers in, in, in less than a week. Um, it's pretty good. <laughs> I like that. I like those numbers. And hopefully we can go together. Hopefully we can make some profits together. Um, but yeah, uh, sorry guys that I couldn't provide any real numbers for you guys today. But I'm going to try and think of a way that we can adjust this bot to deal with uh, better buys on these dip days and stuff like that. Um, so I'm definitely going to have... Uh, I'm thinking about using a four hour, uh, four hour basically period. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't want to get stuck with 12 bags again. I might even go to a 12 hour, even a day just because this market has been so fluctuating. But the thing is, is if you go, if you go back that far and it goes to the day when Ethereum was like 800 bucks, you're not going to get a, you're not going to buy anything because nothing's going to probably be that low. So this is the, this is the test phase. Um, it's going to be tough. So hopefully if it trades within the last four, like a four hour, uh, period, um, it should have a better idea of when, uh, to buy and when not to buy. So guys, um, good luck. I hope everything is going well with you guys. Um, just hit me up in the um, discord chat. Take care guys.